Well, all right there. Uh, I, I normally would say we're on the eastern side of 8 o'clock, but we're actually uh, we're pushing the southeastern side of uh, 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, had a little technical issues here, uh, but we've worked them out, and we are live streaming, as uh, most of you know by now, to our YouTube channel, which is RobLynLive.com. So we're uh, streaming there, uh, compliments of Mr. Mafara, Ash Mafara, that is, uh, as uh, we are on O-Connect. And it is a crystal clear night on O-Connect here. There is no buffering. We are live, live. And I want to say it loudly. Do you, Rob Lynn, live? I know you do, or you wouldn't be here. Do you, Rob Lynn, live, Greg Hill? I know you do. All right, I see Francis. Hey, Francis, did I wake you up? Francis, wake up. <laughs> Good night, Francis. All right, here we go. It is, uh, uh, it's fun to be here. Uh, it wasn't so much fun while we had the technical issues, but hey, when they're working on the stuff in the back office, sometimes it can be a challenge, and it was tonight. But we overcame, as we usually do. There he is. There we is. That's what I say to Holly, uh -huh. to Francis. All right, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. All right, let's get started. Here. Now, we do want to mention, since we're live streaming, that uh, those of you who are not in on Passive, you can get there. You All you got to do is go to roblinlive.ai. If you don't like that, go to roblinlive.com. That'll get you to the registration page. All you got to do is sign up. Get yourself an old mail, just like an email, except better. Yeah, <clears throat> get yourself a password, get yourself ONET and OTRIM, and away you go. So remember, that's roblinlive.com. And if you don't like .com, roblinlive.ai. Listen to those vocals. All right, here we go. We're about to get started here before I fall out of my chair laughing at myself. And let's see what we got here. We have one, two, three. Whoa, it looks like a full one, two, three. Everybody but Pedro is here so far. So uh, tonight is day 560. That's right, 560 consecutive Roblin lives. This is Wednesday. It's the sixth day of March, 2024. Did I get any of that right? I yeah. think I did. Yeah. Okay, so. uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, today real quickly. Uh, and then we'll get after it with these uh, fine-looking panelists. Everybody looks good tonight. Huh? Look at that. Huh? There are no T. Uh, be dog. All right, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time brought you live with Marty and Chris. They continued uh, going back and forth about whether Marty's hat was red or pink. Uh, Dawn settled it, though. She said it's red. She brought in pink toys, and it looks like it's red. It's just a little bit lighter than uh, Chris's hat. But Chris... Uh, Refused to let up. He continued most of the show uh, going back and forth about the colors of the hat. So then along at 11 a.m. came Red Redford. Red came along, gave us a little bit of updates, a little bit of what to look forward to. Tomorrow, uh, OP360 was postponed until Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me, not postponed, rescheduled to Thursday. Both Chris and Marty are ill. Uh, that was the primary reason, according to what they told me on the phone today. All right. Then at 4 p.m., along came Comfort, and she brought along a Red Redfern and uh, some guy named Andy Burks. You know, the guy that goes like this. Woo! All right. That's Andy Burks. He was there along with Red, and they talked about this, and they talked about that. All right. And then, and now, it's 8 p.m. Oh, yeah. And you've got the Roblin Live Network presentation of Roblin Live and Ali, the Wonder Dog. True doggies. <clears throat> Wednesday evening is our normal roundtable, and tonight will be no exception. Uh, it is our Q and A. It's special roundtable Q and A with our panelists, asking you as attendees the questions instead of you asking us. There will be time for you to ask us questions in community time, which will be following uh, this. All right. Uh, there'll be a little bit of signing. Do we have anyone signing tonight? 
Uh huh. We got Cecil Weir will be teaching sign tonight. Cecil in the house, Cecil. the guy with the C, the C. All right, he'll be signing in. Uh, John, will you be singing or are you resting? I will be both resting and singing because singing is like resting to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did I go there? All right. All right. That, that'll cost me. All right. Now, uh, I think the only person that's got to leave a little bit early will be uh, Mayor, uh, Mr. Shabate, and we'll come to you in just a moment. But first, <clears throat> we want to mention uh, that at 11 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time, lunch at noon in Singapore. A lunch at noon in Singapore with the Sifu himself back from India looking totally rested. Francis <laughs> Tay. Oh, he's not totally rested. All right. Well, I didn't he might, think he was. He might be jet lagged. But uh, so tonight, those of you who are on Eastern Time, lunch at noon, Singapore is actually 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So join us. We'll post in the back office. It's a Q&A with the uh, attendees asking, or speakers, everybody comes in as a speaker, but they get to ask questions. So please join us. It's It'll pretty right lit up. This one. Yeah. It'll be lit up for sure. All right. Please pray for Ash, Ash's family, Ash Mahan, his wife, and the boys Omar and Yusuf, as we say every night, as well as the tech team, the media team, and the support staff around the globe for their good health and safety. All right. Now, you may know of someone who's feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, has a disease of some kind, has an illness, I should say, or it has been injured. Please, if you have them, you can put it in the chat, and we'll send out extra prayer warriors, and they'll be hitting the streets tonight. And they will uh, send prayers out to uh, either you, your loved ones, or your friends. That's how we roll here. All right. We got a couple of announcements. I'll make it brief. Uh, it's a few announcements. Stay alert. Stay alert. Stay alert, everybody. Likely this week, uh, O-Connect, in the next day or two, perhaps, by Friday, uh, will be uh, the newest edition of O-Connect. That's what we're anticipating. We don't know for sure. Uh, and when I spoke to Chris and Marty on the telephone, they didn't give an indication for sure, but they said the same thing I did. Stay connected because uh, the new edition, the newest edition of O-Connect is chock full of goodies. Newest things to click on. Oh, yeah. And we'll be able to see how they work. Okay, so stand by for that. Hoping tomorrow could be Friday. Then, migration without hesitation, you know the drill here. Uh, sign the NDA and affiliate agreements and check out the OnPassive YouTube channel. Check out the OnPassive newest website. They went back to the blues. Very nice, very good looking uh, website, if I don't say so. And the link, the affiliate or referral link is uh, kind of stuck in the 50s here at 57, 5, 7. I don't think it went to 58 yet or 59. So if you're going to check that out, just check it out. It's in uh, its link of 5, 7, 5, 7. Subscribe to O-Connect when you can. If you can't afford it, you have till September 1. You're good to go. Just do it as soon as you can. And come in and have some fun. We have fun every night on Roblin Live, and we're on O-Connect. We were the first to use O-Connect exclusively, and we're pretty proud of that. As soon as Ash mentioned, hey, we need to be using our own platform, hey, we started using our own platform. And then a week later, he says we can live stream. So it was good that we started when we did. We're proud of that, and we're glad we've stuck with it. There are other webinars out there that are still using Zoom and whatever other platforms there are, but we stick with O-Connect. Oh, yeah. All right. Log into your OES and follow the back office for pop-ups and check out the ticker because it changes. It could change at the drop of a hat. Subscribe to O-Connect, as we mentioned. Have some fun. If you know of anybody who needs help <clears throat> around the world, you know the drill. Helping one helps us all. That brings me to tonight. It's time for the Wednesday evening roundtable Q&A. Featuring our panel of illustrious panelists, 
asking questions of you, the attendees out there, and we're going to introduce him one by one in just one moment. We're going to be starting with uh, uh, Mr. Mayur Shirbate in just a moment. Uh, we'll go round the horn, uh, introduction, and then we've asked them to think of what their favorite Ashmafar sayings are. What are one or more? You can have ten since there's so many sayings in it to win it, do it or die. Uh, hello, Rob. No, no, that's not one. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, let's uh, stop the nonsense, Robert, and get on with it, shall we? We shall. All right. So what we're going to do is, uh, as I mentioned, we'll go around the horn. Uh, we'll have everybody introduce themselves, where they're from briefly, and what their favorite three ashisms are, one, two, or three. And then we'll come back to them after everybody's had the opportunity to introduce themselves, and we'll have uh, two questions. That's likely what we'll get to tonight is two questions, or this afternoon or this morning, two questions from each panelist. And we'll go from there. And then after that, we're hoping to have time for a community time with Lynn Nakamoto and myself and as many attendee, uh, attendees turning into panelists as we can get. We love a big panel. We've had upwards of, uh, I think it was 35 at one time, which was good, So uh, of panelists. So we're pretty excited. The more, the merrier. So <clears throat> without further ado, do you have anything before we move along? We're good. We're good? Yep. All righty then. As uh, Ayush uh, might say, let's uh, move along, moving on, and let's start with uh, Mayur Sherbate. If you could tell us uh, who you are, where you're from, and uh, what your favorite ashisms are. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, hello, Rob, sir, and Lin, ma'am. Uh, and uh, good morning, good evening to all of you and uh, all attendees. Uh, welcome to the Rob and Lynn uh, live show. Um, my name is Mayur Shirbhate from India, uh, Pune city. Um, I like uh, Ash Mubarak's uh, uh, quote is, do or die. It's it most, uh, it most favorite for me because uh, every, in every business we take uh, as an opportunity and take it as a challenge for uh, doing our uh, what we take in uh, first uh, for uh, doing it as a challenge to uh, do it completely so get the results and uh, future of internet is also is my uh, uh, one of the favorite because uh, of fantasy will provide uh, not uh, uh, internet but it will cover all the internet facilities to the people. So, uh, thank you, sir. So, all right, thank you. Me. We appreciate that, Sherbate, Mr. Sherbate, Mayur, of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. And uh, I did, uh, no one else said they had to leave early. Uh, Pedro is a little late coming to the dance. I don't see Pedro yet, but uh, we'll uh, check in with him a little later. Uh, let's uh, let's get things uh, continuing along with Mel Marcano. Mel, Mel, unmute. Hello, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Robin Lin. <laughs> okay. Um, it was three of Ashi's favorite quotes, right? Robin all, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Where are you? Where do you live? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oops. <laughs> um, Melanie Marcano, and I'm here. I'm live. I'm from Canada, Caribbean Canada. Um, sorry about that. Free of Ashi's um, favorite quotes. I think it's three, you said. Or maybe misread. Um, take action daily. And he said, another one is failure is not an option. And there's another one, he says, um, go big or go home. So these are the three so far. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it, there. 
And let's go over to Sifu Francis Tay, if we may. Francis Tay, if we may. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and if you have uh, one, two, or three ashisms. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's early morning. I'm still in the India, Indian time is two hour and a half behind. Right. So I'm uh, Francis Tay from Singapore, not from India. Uh, glad to be back here. Uh, what, what should I do? <laughs> I lost touch with Singapore culture now. Ashism, that favorite. Oh, ashes. Yeah, any of your favorite, favorite yeah. saying. Favorite. Yeah, uh, we meet you at the top till your year will pop, right? And the other one is do it or die. Yeah, I'm born to change your life. Thank you. All right, thank you, Jan thank you, James Bond, Special Agent uh, Sifu Francis. Appreciate it. And uh, next, let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm a riot tonight. Let's go over to John Barilla. John, who are you? Where are you from? Who am I? Uh, my name is John Barilla, and I'm originally from Ohio, but I've lived for many years in New York City, where I'm an actor and a singer. And uh, I want to settle something right away. Your hat that you sent to Marty is red. It's not pink. And the thing about it is, I have been typing in their chat whenever they're arguing. It's neon red, neon red. That's what I'm calling it, neon red, not pink. Okay, that's settled. All right. So uh, <laughs> three. Uh, you know, I hate favorites, but anyway, uh, I figured I'd, I'd the first three that came to my mind would be what I would choose. So uh, I have here. Uh, we are the future of the internet. That's one. And we have, it's a done deal. That's two. And my third one is, and this is one that I personally, I like it because uh, it's something I have, a, a, it's not an issue, but that I deal with because I have trouble doing this. So I'm always working at it. And that would be dream big, dream bigger, bigger than you've ever dreamed before. That's my third All one. Right. I got a thing with that. I'm, I'm trying to dream bigger than I've ever dreamed before. All right, John, thank you. We'll be back to you for a couple of questions in just a moment. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Carmela Schwartz. Uh, it's 4 a.m. where she is. So, Carmela, talk to us. Where are you from? Hello, hello, everyone. Here I am again. My name is Carmela, and I am from the lovely Israel with the lovely roses, as you see. And I I want uh, to say that I thing I like in the uh, Ashmofar Award is that uh, he comes and he said, I am your friend. And and I am I am your friend and I'm going to change your life. And uh, it's a done deal. And uh, and we know it's a done deal. And and the and uh, I appreciate his uh, announcement. Uh, his words. He's a true person. He always uh, say the uh, things from his heart. And uh, he's a special man. We we never seen before in in this world. So that's it. Mm. Well, thank you very much there, fire, 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 Miss Rose from Israel. That's actually Miss Schwartz, or better known as Carmela, Carmela, Carmela. Thank you, man. He's going to change our life. He promised and he will do it. <laughs> All right. I'm with you 100%. And that's a lovely Rose off to the uh, stage left or off to your right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Next, let's go to uh, the one, the Gregory Hill. The gift meister. Oh, great. Hello, everyone. Very interesting uh, question to ask of what or do we remember? He said so many, and I started going back and looking at my records because I'm kind of into the history of, 
of on passive and I keep pretty uh, detailed records about what is said and what is done. And I was looking back and let me find it real quick here if I can. And <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I was reading a, a lot of posts that I made in the, the old Facebook. I mean, the old Facebook, <laughs> the old, uh, the old uh, uh, GoFounders uh, uh, Onet that we had. Uh, I, I used to write uh, quite a quite a few posts in there I, I, every day, and I copied them and then I I saved them to uh, Gmail and to put them as drafts. So I started going through some drafts today. And that was interesting. But anyway, I came up with one that he said on uh, Ash said on 8:28 at uh, 8:58, and this was the success recipe is there for everyone. And um, the other one that that um, Mel Mel kind of said, in a, in, but in a little different terms, is I remember him saying, do that one thing, good thing, every day for your business. And finally, the last one that I, <clears throat> that I found that I thought was kind of interesting, but uh, it, it was it's an older one. It's, it's, they wrote in there, my dreams and visions for the future are, as Ash said, in the webinar, that's all I had there was on uh, yeah, on massive. On massive. My all right, thank you, Greg. We'll be back to you in a few minutes for a couple of questions. And thank you. Over to Chris Tiazone from the southern area in the Philippines. Go ahead. I guess, um, panelists, remember to mute yourselves. I see a, several of you unmuted, so be sure you keep muted unless you're actively speaking. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now we'll go to Chris Tia's own Tarzan. Uh, oh, go ahead. Tarzan. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Chris Tia Zone. Uh, the it sounds like Tarzan, so that's why that's uh, uh, what uh, we, I'm called here in the community. And uh, my favorite quotes are not just uh, three, uh, but. Uh, but plenty it's a two minute video i'd like to share for a while i'm looking for it uh in a while and yeah but before anything else uh, to enable speaker icon it is located in the bottom left corner and uh, it is optional for you to to unmute the blue button because uh, uh, i i'd be i'd be speaking over the video here it is um it's only a two, two minutes I'd like to show a bit everyone my favorite quotes and i'm gonna read it along leadership quotes by astro farah a burning desire to help others serve and lift they get along with people leaders must have a vision vision is the ability to see the invisible a leader must touch the heart before they ask for the hand yes leaders are servants we follow leaders effectively collectively because they inspire and because of what they do for us because of the change and transformation they help us acquire Good leaders must be selfless, but put others and the mission must put others first. A, lot, a leader must be able to uh, able and available available to assist and lead the way. Able, in short, leaders must pave the way and show the way. Live to learn, and you will really learn to live. Leaders never ever quit. To continue leading, we must continue to 
learning. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Rob and Lynn are fine leaders. So forgive me for being long. It's too shabby there, That's a W. You gotta give me a double W on this. Very nicely done, Chris. Thank you, thank you for that. That enca encapsulated quite a few of the ashisms, and that was fun. That was indeed fun. So thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, now we're ready for questions for the attendees. I want to tell you, there's over a hundred people here tonight. Over a hundred tonight. So that's a hats off to you guys for being here and bringing the crowd in. Uh, I think there's sixty some odd here, and there's uh, almost fifty, or maybe over fifty by now on youtube so not too shabby and we appreciate what you guys are doing 116 total well like i said 116 that's 116 so if you're going to it's, the dog track tonight play 116 trifecta it's because the panelists are here that's true i i agree yeah. i agree and uh, here's another one of ash's sayings on passive is ai with heart ai with heart and that it is for sure. Man, I have really, and we have both really jumped into this AI thing. We had a series and we've done 15 so far. I counted them today. Oh, wow. 15 AI series. Now, uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, which will be a little bit of fun. Yeah. Remember what we talked about? No. You know? <laughs> no, I forgot. <laughs> I'm certainly glad I asked. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll we'll check into that before we leave tonight, so we can let everybody know. Oh, this is great! You gotta love live TV uh, or live broadcasting, don't you? All right, let's go back to uh, Mayor. Mayor, could we have a couple of questions from you? Hello, uh, hello, everyone. Um, uh, my first question is about um, the World Police Summit is going on in Dubai. So uh, we know that uh, which product will be uh, will be hit to, for uh, World Police Summit. Which coming product of Onpassive will be hit or will be uh, promoted in that section? So which product is of Onpassive will be uh, promoted in World Police Summit? 2030. Got it. I got it. I think I heard you both times. Uh, which on passive uh, product or solution is going to be uh, promoted, I should say, at the police, International Police World Conference, the World, World Conference. World Police Summit. Like I said, the World Police Summit. Got it now. All right. So let's go to the chat so we can see if we may. Uh, some answers. Let's have some answers from the attendees, if you please. All righty. Give them a few seconds to think and respond. Hi, David. David says, hi. Hello, Lynn and Rob. Um, okay. So, Ananda is the first to answer, and he says, Oh, connect with O Tracker. O connect and O Tracker. Two good answers. Um, Chris Tiazon says, O Connect, and among others, perhaps with O Tracker. Excellent answer there, Tarzan. Hi, Franz Marcelin. He says, O Tracker. O Tracker. Sounds like something the police could use. Yeah. Um, Greg Hill says, O Connect. O Connect by Greg Hill. Angela Lalande says, O Connect. O Connect again. And Pat Green says o connect with o tracker o connect with o tracker all right um looking for more answers that uh oh okay and then lisa mcbride says o tracker o tracker from miss mcbride and that's it for now okay let's go back to uh mayor sherbate and uh Sir, what say you? What are the what is the correct answer? Okay, uh, uh, most of the giving uh, part of it and uh, 
the answer is o tracker uh, because tracking is a uh, 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 pol uh, police will be tracked all of you so o tracker will be is most usable for uh, them uh, my second question is that um, it is a uh, participant uh, um, when we use o connect which uh, which options we you uh, you like most uh, everyone get answers are different so you will be participate all of you all right uh, if i got that right the question is this in, in o connect what are your favorite parts of o connect is it the whiteboard is it the resounds yabba dabba do is it the uh music that you can play the background music or the themes or is it the calculator or is it the poll taking what in the world is it and soon coming is the audio video where you can do your very own background so without anything else said and since i've given everybody all the answers uh most of the answers let's go to the attendees all right. and get some answers let them process the information and answer. Um, Franz Marcelin says video. And we have Carmela says, I love them all. Good answer. Greg Hill says, my part that is of, that is of Old Connect is the people. My favorite part is the people. Nice. Don Swihart says, I like it all. Music and community time, says Patricia Green. Sadananda yeah. says video share. Um, Charlie Ellis, who we call Bo, says side view and panel view options. Ooh, good answer. And Angela Leland says, I like them all. I like them all. All right and anybody else probably okay but for now let's go back to uh uh mayor Shabate and what say you on the answers it looks like everybody kind of hit on most of them right yeah and in, uh, mel says in o connect i love the break button b-r-e-a-k button so no one can see you when they're on a break and karina says i like them all too so several people said they like everything about O Connect. All right, Mayor, go ahead. Tell us what you think. Yes, sir. Um, all of uh, uh, all of you uh, participated in that uh, question answer. So um, I love the prompter uh, because it is unique for uh, um, all of you because uh, the news channels we use the prompter, but uh, no one uh, used the prompter in. Uh, any video conferencing tool. So uh, thank you for participating. Uh, so thank you, sir, from my side. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We appreciate thank it. You. And you're welcome. Thank you very much. Good questions, uh, Mayor. And anytime you have to leave, just give us a wave. We know you got to get off to the office, so to the pharmacy. All right. Uh, next up is uh, the one, the only, John Barilla. Have you got a couple of questions for the audience there, Johnny? Yeah. Kind of struggling with my sound here. I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, how about uh, this one? Uh, we're hearing about, and we see on the uh, uh, blog lately, uh, something uh, called RPA. And RPA, just to let you know what it is, maybe it'll help automates repetitive activities boosting productivity it automates repetitive chores with robots that's a big hint but can you tell me what does rpa what is it what's it stand for what is the name actually rpa all right so john's first question is uh, uh relates to rpa the initials rpa uh, what does RPA relate to? What does it mean? What does it do? Is that pretty close? Yeah, that, yeah. What is it called? What RPA? What's what's RPA stand for? The initial. 
All right. Okay. All right. What does the acronym RPA stand for? Okay. Who's going to be the first to get it? We shall find out. Mm, no answer yet. Let's, oh, wait, wait, maybe it. Let's go down. It's in the block. Uh, There's a hint. Okay. Nothing, no answer quite yet. But they're coming. In the meantime, we have people still coming in. We have Yehudit here, as well as Sukumar. Sukumari is here as well. Um, Charlie Ellis says, clueless. I'm clueless. And then Sadananda says, Robro robotic process automation. Whoa, good answer. Franz Marcelin says, robotic process automation. And Roy Davies says, yes, I love them all. Have no idea. All right. <laughs> Robotic process automation seems to be a hot answer, John. Yeah, well, that's it. That, that's, that's exactly what it stands for. Uh, because like as I said in the definition, uh, it's just really explaining that many processes will be done by robots, whether they're robots or whether they're machines that do the tasks that become mundane and unnecessary for the humans to do. We'll let the robots do all that stuff for us. So that's what it is. And, and then uh, do I go with the second one now? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Well, this one, this is an easy one. I, I, I like to, you know, give shout outs or give to do. To, what's the word? Just give credit for the credit to do. Like last time I asked for the, the four folks that put, it, put out our wonderful notes. So tonight, uh, let me just look here, what I'm going to say. Uh, I want to know who actually is the head of our own media on passive artificial intelligence technology team. Who is that person? What's their name? The head of our own media on passive artificial intelligence technology team. All right. And John's question is who is the uh, in charge of the on passive O media uh, team. Is that right? Did I get that close enough? Automatic. Uh, what was the specific department again? Say that again, John. Here it is. It's the artificial intelligence technology team. O media, the O media artificial intelligence technology team. Okay, that's a mouthful, right, John? <laughs> artificial <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> official title <laughs> artificial artificial intelligence technology team under o media all right we got it now let's go to the attendees and see what they say all right no answers yet no nothing yet um don swihart says dr nurad or something like that n-u-r-a-d all right, Dr. Nura. And Greg says, uh, Mohammed Nazal, maybe. Mohammed Nazal, that's another good answer. And Sadananda says, machine learning and deep learning. Yeah, but who is in charge of the artificial intelligence technology team under Omedia? Who is in charge? I know who isn't, me. Uh, Mayur says, Professor Susan. All right, could be Professor Susan. Keep guessing. We we want a few more guesses. All right, all right, all right. It's actually, a good question. Very good question, John, because not everybody will know it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we'd get multiple names because I, I I don't think people think about the person that's actually. I'm not gonna say more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to give hints, right? <laughs> okay, so far, doctor from Egypt says Mel. Doctor from Egypt. That's a pretty nondescript answer, but we'll go with that. A doctor from Egypt. And then Cynthia Deering says, Professor Suzanne, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E. All right. And Charlie Ellis says, Francis Tay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be Francis Tay. All right. <laughs> he seems to be uh, globally known. Yeah, I like that answer. All right, come on, more guesses. Um, Roy Davis says, Dr. Soha, that's just a guess. <laughs> All right. Any, any more guesses? 
Come on, folks. There's a whole bunch of you here today. We'd like a few more guesses. Karina says, Professor Suzanne, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E. Thank you for guessing. All right, let's go back to Mr. Barua for the answer. Yes, you know, I, I thought it might be the case, though, what I started to say before was that we would get uh, more than one answer because uh, several people have a lot to do with our media and, that, and they were naming the people. But the person you might not think of, but is actually ahead of it, is Dr. Susan Kalini. Say that again. Dr. Susan L. Kalini. And how do you spell the last name? Her name. E-L-K-A-L-L-I-N-Y. So I'm probably pretty close. I'm, I could be wrong how she says it. Elkalini, yeah, probably. Elkalini. Elkalini. Mm, okay, Lini. All right. Lini. Thank you very much, yeah, John. Two good questions That's for sure. That's really good. Police Thank you. Appreciate that very much. All right, let's go to Carmela. Carmela Schwartz, come in, please. Two questions. Hello, everyone. Hello. There were great, great questions. Now I, I, I would say my question. There are uh, many webinars around uh, in uh, the uh, on passive uh, going now. How do I stay up, stay up with the update? Where, where to go? How I, I choose the best one? All righty. Where do you go to get the where best information for and update? The two one. Say it again, Carmilla. There are many webinars in the uh, all founders in the back. I'm looking every day to see uh, which webinars to go. There are many. How oh, I can choose the best one that they give me the, the right and the true update. Okay, so your question is, how can we know which webinars to attend that give us the right and accurate information and updates? How do we know how to select appropriately from the webinars that are available? Is that what you said? That's pretty much what you meant? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. All right, waiting for some answers from the our fans here. Uh, Charlie Ellis says, check many in your back office. He says, look in your back office. <coughs> uh, and Melanie Marcano says, yes, attend one. Cynthia Deering says, the back office in O Founders, upcoming webinars and YouTube. Right. And we have Chris Tiazone. He says, summary updates by Ash is best on old founders updates tab. Uh, Sadananda says, I have answered already. Right. And Karina says, I missed the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is, how do you know how to, uh, there's so many webinars being offered. So do you know where do you go or how do you know which webinars to attend that give out the accurate updates? All and right. Patricia Green says, go to O Founders and choose a webinar, for instance, Red, Chris Johnson, Marty DeGarmo, Rob Lynn Live. That's Patricia Green's answer. Thank you, Ms. Green. Roy Davies says, in your back office in O Founders. Good answer, Roy. Lisa McBride says, O Founders under webinars. So that's the answer so far. There's a pause. So go ahead, Carmilla. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't say that is this the, the right things to do. I, I heard Atu Farah said that 360 will bring you the, the update. So we have to go every week to see to the 360 to the update. And Rob Line uh, bring us every day the update. What happened from all over the webinars because they go to all of them. 
So they are the two uh, uh, ones that I choose for myself uh, to go there. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Appreciate that very much. Uh, was that question one or question two? Where have I been? This is was the one. Uh, you want me to say the question two again? Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, question two is, uh, there are many similar products on our, in, in the market uh, that's similar to uh, uh, on passive. Why should, uh, uh, what is, what is a uh, special about on passive uh, product and why i will choose to be non-passive all right so what's so special about op i got it what's so special about on passive and their products since there are other products similar somewhat similar to what we have is that the question yes all right Let's go to the attendees and see what they have to say. And Patricia chimed in on the last question and OES Asia Pacific webinar. She says that's a good piece for updates as well. Thank you. It Kathleen. is. Well, who hangs out there? Oh, Sifu Francis. Sifu Francis. Right. Day. And people like Chris Tiozone, who is here with us today. Truism. Okay. The answer to this question starts with Lisa McBride. She says, higher value, less expensive. <coughs> and Greg says, they are proprietary products. Sadananda says, old domain is very necessary. And Greg says, bad, bad fingers. Oh yeah, but I got it, Greg. I knew you meant proprietary, no problem. Um, Nagaraj, Gosabi's here. Hi. Do you have an answer to the question? He says hello to us. You can make your guesses too, Nagaraj. Uh, Charlie Ellis says, inexpensive prices for great products. Ooh, that'll separate us. Very good answer. All right. Any more answers? Come on. Come on, fans. We have Mel. She says, Unpassive offers one hub with multiple products so you don't have to scramble around looking for each product all in one space. Everything is in one space. Chris Tiazone says, Unpassive is an AI company with heart. Just look at the caps of Rob Lynn. Unpassive with AI, no, Unpassive, AI with heart. That's right. All right. Aceta Santos here and she says, pay less get more Ooh, not too shabby very nice anybody else anyone else anybody on no. the panel want to hazard a guess they've been guessing they've been guessing along okay oh let's go back to carmela for the answer a good answer for all of you and i want to say that our product with the last last test technology with ai and they are being a a perfected all the time. They are will be a, a with last pay, as the people said, and they are under one umbrella, and uh, we are and uh, we don't have to risk between them, like with other companies. All right, thank you, Carmela. We appreciate that, Miss Rose from Israel. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for those two questions. Let's go to Mel Marcano, Mel. Thank you. Thank you, Rob and Lynn. Um, last minute preparing questions. <laughs> um, probably your business to fly. Okay, um, question. Um, AI Lab, the power of artificial intelligence, as we all know, it empowers the path to safe artificial intelligence and what else does it do? AI, artificial intelligence. What is what what is AI's function? All right. The question from Ms. Marcano, what is AI's function? What is the function of artificial intelligence? All right. Good, good question, Mel. Yeah, that Thank one's you. gonna get a variety of answers, which is always nice. 
So we'll wait for some of the responses to come in. Mm. Give them time to answer. They're thinking. All right. Anybody All venturing right. guess here? What is the function of AI? All right. Any other answers? Okay. The first answer comes from Lisa McBride, and she says, cost effective product. Ooh, doggies. I like that. And Charlie Ellis says, to make life easier for all. Nice. There are two answers so far. Come on, people. Chime in. Venture a guess. There's probably a bunch of answers that would be acceptable. So go for it. And we have Sarananda Das. He says, AI, as usual, guess it guesses the behavior, guess behave human brain. Oh, well, right. it tries to mimic what the human brain does. I That's believe. correct. That's what he's trying to That's say. That's what he's getting at. And Angela Lalanne says, to set the tone for the future. Ooh, I like that. And Karina, Karina says, it makes life easier. Yes. Thank you for that, Karina. All right. Let's go back and let's get the answer. Go ahead, uh, Mel. Okay. AI powered solution do things like it automates, it innovates, and elevates, and it launches. And it's, um, it models, like deploy models in any environment and enable drift detection, custom alarms, automatic retraining, and real time monitoring. So most of the questions are, the questions are correct. It's just um, in different forms because AI does a lot of things. All right. So the question. Thank you, Mel. We appreciate that question and the answers. Let's go to you again for another question if you have one. And if not, we can come back can to you. We can come back to you later if you're super. Yeah, come back to me. <laughs> I wasn't quite ready. Thank All you, right. and Lincoln. Come back. No problem. We'll be back. Yeah. We'll be back. Let's go to Greg Hill. Greg Hill. Oh, no, I've had to wait this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, my day's been, been stressful. This is just adding a little more. No. <laughs> well, that's what we deal with. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's all good. You know, I, I really like the ashism. I, I got That was a good one, Rob. <laughs> Ashisms. I like that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we're talking about uh, que uh, questions. And I was reading in the blog. I think the blog is just fabulous. I think everybody really needs to go to the blog every day and make it part of their lives and start reading about the things. Even the past things are really, really good. I enjoy it a lot I, when I have more time. And so I was reading about the, uh, the cost effectiveness of virtual ass assistance in our business. And it's in the blog. And they, uh, one of the questions that I came up to was, uh, or that I started looking at, and, was, and that is what are the four main uh, ideas around the, this AI tool of having a uh, virtual assistance in your business. So I don't really know how to come up with any real questions, but there are four answers to it, basically what makes them effective, cost effective and having them. So if you were in the blog and you were looking around and there are 24 uh, categories in our blog, which is really cool. And if you click on a link, uh, click on a category, uh, you can read uh, something and then uh, you have a a possible link inside of that uh, that blog. You can click on it and go to another blog, which uh, elaborates more or on the same subject, which I thought was really, really cool. But anyway, what are the four main ideas around this AI tool as far as a cost effectiveness uh, of virtual assistance uh, in your business? And does anybody have an idea? I don't think anything's really wrong, but uh, I'll, I'll read them off after it's done. If you have All right. any ideas? All right. So, uh, would you say save the basics of the question, uh, one, if you would? Question. Okay. The basic of the question is, uh, what uh, using virtual assistance in our business, what makes them so cost effective? Got it. That's a good one. In our business, in usual using virtual assistance, what makes 
a virtual assistant cost effective how's Correct. that All perfect right. let's go to the attendees All right. and the panels okay let's see if we've got some guesses here answers please okay um productivity charlie ellis says productivity good answer anybody else There's probably a few answers, so it's worth yeah. guessing. Yeah, guess. Yeah. No penalty for wrong answers, okay? No. I'm not going <laughs> to say, you're out of here. Strike <laughs> you're fired. Uh, yeah, exactly. Not even going to happen. Okay, Chris has two answers. Three, no, four answers. He says, no office space. True. <laughs> Number two is no office equipment. True. Number three is no staffing costs. True. And number four is flexible payment. Oh, what do you think of that, Greg? Huh? Well, I, I think I love you, Chris. You're just good, man. You're, you're checking things out. You know how to, to search the blog. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. Big smile. So, Chris. Attaboy, Chris. <laughs> so, All if right. you want to so, so, so it's, since Chris found the answer, why doesn't he read what they are? There's four of them there. Why, yeah. why are they so effective? Of course, uh, here it goes. Uh, as uh, okay. requested, I shall comply. No okay. office space because renting and maintaining office space comes with significant financial commitments. So mm -hmm. virtual assistance remotely, work remotely, eliminating, eliminating the need for physical workspace and related expenses well, number two no office equipment why traditional workspaces demand office equipment and resources for employees so virtual assistants use their own tools reducing your overhead costs no staffing cost why hiring a full-time employee involves recruitment expenses background checks salaries and benefits so virtual assistants reduce all the ne unnecessary uh, cost so it's also a flexible payment yeah we know what is that thank you very much very good all right thanks chris we got a couple other answers from sarananda we got productivity and reality uh good answers and from don swihart we got reliability and integrity Ooh, i like that one and from Bo, charlie ellis says getting it done in a timely fashion and Mel Mel says cheaper than real human would charge. That's a good answer, Mel. That's a very good answer. So, mm -hmm. all right. Thank you, everybody, for that. Uh, could we go to Greg for another question if you have one? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I had no time. There is no penalty. There's no penalty for being a one-question guy. There's no problem with that at all. I did get the gift in today, though. <laughs> ah, yeah, see? The you gift, can't be everywhere and the, doing everything. The gift was beautiful. Thank you. Yes, it was. I did check it out. All right. Uh, all right. Let's, um, is, did Pedro make it? So I heard someone say hello, Pedro. Thank you, Chris. I haven't seen him, though. No, he's not. Okay. All right. Can we go through everybody? Uh, not yet. Stand by one. Let's go over to Sifu Francis Tay, if oh, we yeah. may, for a couple of questions, please. I, I want to go back to the World Police Summit that everybody knows. My question is, why is on passive at the World Police Summit? Answer one, because we are policemen. Answer two, on my question, uh, we are organizer. Or number three, we are exhibitor. Number four, we are sponsored. I know that one. I know, I know, I know, I know. Number I one, are we, are we, because you are policemen, you are at the World Summit, or because you are organizer, you are at the World Summit, huh? a World Police Summit, or because you are exhibitors, you want to display your old connect, everything, huh? or the last one, because you are sponsors. Okay. So people are giving answers with numbers. So we've got answers. The first to answer is, hold on. We got Mel. Mel says number four, which because 
they are a unpassive is a sponsor eileen says number four as well sponsor um don twyhart sponsor tarananda sponsor cynthia sponsor um nagaraj says efficiency of ai is more than human efficiency and more productivity thank you it's regarding a previous question thank you nagaraj chris Tiazon says unpassive is a sponsor Ooh, doggies look at that chris go and pat green says we are a sponsor john oh. barilla we are a sponsor All and right. mel, mel says sponsor and charlie ellis Bo says because we are headed to the top and we are here and aceta san for high aceta aceta says sponsor all right let's go back to the sifu himself could we have your answer please and so does karina she just chimed in and said sponsor, sponsor okay yeah i the, the answer is a sponsor but the reason why i want to raise this up again since so many of you mentioned about world police summit is that i think we need to recognize our position uh, as a company before launch we have been sponsoring a lot of events so when while we at once no at the same time we are waiting for the apples please comfort your hearts that the company is a real company the company has financial uh, clout financial strength and they can move to the top if we let the company do their job thank you thank you have you got a second question there Susan? yeah i if knew you, you would if you realize that uh recently that there, there are a lot of birthday uh birthday prom in the oes huh? uh, where does this prom came from in the oes did it get recently you realize that uh, there are people's birthday date was not surfaced in the in the old years where does this birth date eh, or birthday uh surface from from which product that we have in old years oh. or unless you did not go to the old years or last few months eh, then you you don't need to answer the question <laughs> i know the answer to that one but i'm gonna shush which product do you go to to know people's birthdays right within the oes what product shows you people's birthdays and rob is disqualified he's ineligible to answer that sorry all right so we have um carmela says my profile and cynthia deering says onet good Ange answer uh -huh. angela lalan says onet so does sadananda and Carm uh sadananda says onet carmela says calendar eileen Kao says onet so does france nagaraj and charlie they all say onet all right let's go back to sifu francis and chris says onet has an even calendar that shows the birthday of my friend onet has it oh has an event he meant to say event onet has an event calendar that shows the birthday of my friend and then aceta santo says onet what say you friends onet, onet is the feature uh, is the product that if you have registered onet and put your birth date in the registration uh, remember you can put blank you don't need to put the birth date if you want to keep it confidential but if you want to receive a lot of birthday cakes then put your birthday in the <laughs> onet so onet is the correct answer i knew it would be all right, let's go to Chris Tiazone to wrap this up on uh, round two and, here. And Roy Davis, Davies just answered. He said, Onet. And Charlie Ellis says, good question, Francis. Ooh, doggies. Thank you, Charlie. All right, let's go to uh, Chris Tiazone. Tarzan, bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Yes, okay. I'm going to begin with uh, uh, sharing my screen. Um, everyone will be uh, having a... At, in the attendee view, it will be going in, in a side view after this. So here it, here it goes. Here are my two questions. I I enjoyed that question, the, the questions of uh, my fellow 
pa panelists. So here it goes. Uh, hopefully it shows around 10 seconds. Um, right. Waiting for it here. Which application is designed to simulate human conversation? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I. Yeah, not stimulate, okay? So simulate. Which AI application is design, designed to simulate what did I human say? conversation? Stimulate? No, no. I was just uh, injecting humor here. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, for, for a while, I, I didn't run the, the... I have to maximize to run the slides. Uh, for a while here it goes the next slide would be a image recognition is it b speech synthesis is it c nlp or is it d virtual reality okay you have 10 seconds to stretch those uh, wrists and type it <laughs> we, have, uh, we have to stimulate those uh, um, hands to type <laughs> okay oh, so it, it's seven six five four three two and somehow it's so uh, lagging have, here you want people, to, people to guess before you show the yes. answer okay don't yes. show the answer yet. okay let's go back to the chat and see what people's guesses are give me a second then. um come on people all right, we have answers actually, and they are first person to answer is Franz. He says Avatar. Uh, Cynthia Deering. Okay, these are the folks that answered D. Cynthia Deering and Franz Marzalin Sadananda said D as in dog. Rachel, hi Rachel. She says um, C, which is NLP. And Eileen Cow says B as in boy, speech synthesis. Bill says B as in boy, speech synthesis. Greg Hill says D as in dog, virtual reality. Uh, Roy Davies says, yes, I say D as in dog too. Karina says D as in dog. John Barilla says B as in boy. Uh, Charlie Ellis and Angela Leland both say B as in boy. All right. Well, let's go wow. back to Chris and see what the real answer is, Chris. That was a good one. Lots of important answers, Chris. Yes, next slide would reveal the answer. It's NLP. So no one looked for the meaning of NLP. <laughs> so here it goes. Natural language pr processing is a type of artificial intelligence that helps chatbots understand and respond to human speech and writing so yeah that's it nlp, uh, NLP. is it all right yeah. good it's question from, it's from the three days ago for facebook page so yeah thanks yeah. for your participation yeah and here goes my second uh, uh, question uh, let me ahead, switch sir. to the next tab and uh, maximize this uh, canva platform and this is simple unscramble the word E V D O I I E A M L. Unscramble the those letters in <laughs> you have to really look at it. Oh what <laughs> I got it. Okay. I got it. The first, I got it. The first person to guess is Greg Hill who says video mail. Ah, took the thunder away from uh, me. And Sadananda there, says there's a missing letter. There's a missing letter there. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. And Eileen Cowles is video mail. And oh, Angie there's Lynn a missing says, letter oh, again. A missing letter. You guys are missing a letter when you say video mail. And Francis Tay interjects interge interge with a comment. He says, OES. Question and answer, lunch at 12, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA, 12.05 p.m. Asia. Link will be posted in the back office. Okay, so now we got uh, E. Karina says E. Pedro is here. He says video email. Don Swihart says video email. Uh, Caleb Koo says video mail. 
Francis Tay video email. And, yeah. oh, 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 Francis Tay said <laughs> video email, and so the, yeah, video email, right, right, right. Mel says video mail. Uh, Laurel Henderson says video email. Eileen Cowell says video email. And Angela Lalette says video mail. Nagaraj says video mail. And Gregory says video e <laughs> Yeah, he has and to correct that. Yeah, Deb to nullify Deborah, the first answer. <laughs> yeah, Deborah Long says video email. And Angie Lynn says, nothing new. You missed me. Okay, I, I, I did read yours, Angie Lynn. I, I saw you. Let's go back up. Yep, I said Chris, yours. Chris. I said your email. Chris, after my yes. answer, the rest are copycat. So the first person <laughs> who got it right was Angie Lynn. Out of the, everybody, I think she got, she guessed it first. The correct answer. Good all job. All right, Angie. all right, all right. Two good questions from uh, Chris. Uh, let's go now, if we may, to the. Yeah, yeah. Just finishing off, it's video email. It's an email that includes a video. Videos can be embedded in, in the email body and or added using a video link. So ours is unique because no need of a uh, to to add add something, uh, download and uh, install, or there's no need to add uh, extension in the browser. So yeah, it's it, this uh, is really beneficial for us. Thank you very much. Very nice, thank you. All right, very good. Let's go now, if we could, to the gallery view, and uh, we'll check and see if uh, those who have one question have you a second, uh, Mel Marcano. You do. Whoa, really? Go ahead, Mel. That's an easy one. I think we asked that before, or I asked. <laughs> <laughs> under quick links, what are the items that are listed under quick links in the unpassive.com? What are the okay. items listed under quick links? What are the icons listed on the quick links? Items. They're off to the right. They're off to the right, are they not? No, not icons. Items. Under quick links, what would you find? There's about one, two, three, four, five things that are um, found under quick links. What are they? If you go All to right. quick links in the back, in the all right. on passive.com, what would you find under quick links? One of them share, I know that. So. <laughs> All right, there are five. So uh, let's hear from everybody on the uh, panel and elsewhere. Uh, Mel's question is, uh, in uh, the quick links, what are the uh, five different uh, things you can uh, click on? Already gave you a hint on one. Let's put on our thinking caps now, if we can. Nonpassive.com. The question is in the quick link section. That's an O trim, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what are off to the side uh, on each line where the links are? What are the things you can click on? What can you do with those links? Okay. I'm waiting for answers. Um, okay, here we go. Mm, I think we're still waiting. Well, I gave one share. Waiting. Bulk trim says Greg Hill. Bulk trim. Okay, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back, says Angela Leland. Charlie Ellis is sharing. So, Pedro, the link to the speaker. Uh, the speaker link I put in your messenger, as I always do, so go check your messenger. Uh, Roy Davies says, I have no idea. You got me mail, mail, says Roy Davies. It's in unpassive.com. So if you open unpassive.com, on the queen clicks, almost close to contact us, there are five things that you will see on the quick links in unpassive.com. 
Okay, Charlie Ellis says message. Uh, Francis Tay says home. Angela Lynn says it mutes every screen change. I hope that it's fixed with the new version. It mutes with every screen change, Angela Lynn says. Products is Francis Tay. So Francis's first answer is home. Second answer is products. All right, we've had sharing, products, and home so far. Any other answers from either the panel or the peanut gallery? There you go. Uh, too short, to shorten lengthy links, says Nagaraj. And we have Charlie Ellis saying register. Francis Say says number three is MIDI, MIDI, MIDI Center, M-I-D-E-A Center. Uh, you might media center maybe oh, oh maybe you meant media center yeah media center number uh four is blog says francis tay and number five is contact us and sadananda says get started and register eileen cowell says blog <clears throat> okay, all right ahead. yeah Blog and register, says Don Swihart. Karina says she's got to go. Good you night. Gotta go, you got to go. See you, Love Karina. Karina. Bye-bye. Charlie Ellis says automate, and Carmela says about us. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Mel. Yes, yeah, so if you go to unpassive.com, before contact us, it says about us, products, media center, terms of use, and contact us. So Francis and um, somebody else said one or two, and yeah, that's all it is. Just these five items. All right, thank you, Mel. Good question and Welcome. answers, everybody. We appreciate it. I think Pedro Estrada Salaras is trying to come in. Is he not? Yes, yeah, so I gave him the speaker link. All right, we'll see if he comes on board with a speaker link. We'd like to hear from Pedro on the panel too. Are we done? Uh, yes, except for Pedro. Okay. All right. So uh, we're not going to go with Pedro. We're going to, for now, we're going to go right over to uh, our signer. Our, uh, are we not? Deb Long? Deb Long is going to teach some signs, and Lynn will tell you what those are. Okay. I got to give her the link. Sorry, Lynn and Rob and the rest, but I'm being kidnapped as of now. <laughs> oh. All right. We'll see you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. I enjoyed it. it tonight. I learned some good stuff. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Chris, for doing that part of it. Thank You're you. Good. Thank you, Greg. You are. No, no. Everybody here, thank you so much. Seriously. Thank you, Francis. Nice to see you. Get some rest, man. <laughs> I'm sure jet lag's no fun. See you guys. See ya, thanks. Thank you. I appreciate and love y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Who's that? Carmela or you, Mel? Yes, it was Carmela. <laughs> <laughs> Carmela, you get my or... morning. <laughs> well, it's 4 a.m. Somebody not going to hear me sing, darn it. All right, we're getting after it. Relax there, old guy. Okay, so let me go to here. So Cecil and the other person, the surprise teacher, I sent you the, um, the speaker link. So check your messages, okay? Both of you have that. Thank you. All right, while we're at it, we'll remind everybody that at 11 o'clock Eastern time, We've got Sifu Francis and company with uh, lunch at noon in sunny Singapore. So if you can make it, make it. All right, all right, all right. So we just found I, out. That yes, actually, I'd like to inform uh, Auntie Lynn. The YouTube is stopped. Yeah, right, the YouTube live all right, so we welcome anybody who is on YouTube if they hopped over here to O-Connect. So see what we have in O-Connect, just out of curiosity. Yeah. How many folks? The YouTube stopped um, when I began sharing the screen. Oh, so the, the, whole, 
yeah, the coding doesn't like that. The the coding. Uh, all right, we're sitting at sixty nine. Oh, now seventy. We're sitting at seventy. Not too shabby for a Q and A night. Very nice. Seventy of you folks have joined us. And are we ready with the signing, or should we go right into the song? Um. Well, gotta let's enable the. So I gave them the speaker link. I'm waiting for them to come in. Okay. They'll come in soon. All right. Now we're gonna bring people to community time first. Um. We could, or just wait. It's easier to see when there's less people on the panel. You know, it's easier to see the signing actually. Okay, Cecil's here. Hello. Let's start with um, let's start with Cecil and his words tonight will be tables, chairs, office, desk, coffee table, kitchen, cook, washer, dryer. Fans, windows, doors, and garage. Okay, so you we go ahead with Cecil on the side view. Okay, hold. Well, actually, it's, it's small enough. That, I mean, there's only eight of us, so I think you can teach now. It's good enough, big enough, and start now. Okay, he says, hello, are you ready? Great. Table, 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 chair, chair. Everybody sign together. Come on, you guys. Office, office, office with the letter O, office. Desk. He uses the letter D. D. Just like table, but with a D. Desk. Desk. Coffee. Everybody knows the sign coffee. And table. Coffee table. Coffee. coffee. Table. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. The letter K as in the, in the motion of cooking. Kitchen. 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 Cook. Cook. Flipping things over, right, as you cook. Pancakes. Cook. <laughs> Washer. It's the an washing agitator. Machine. You can see the agitator. At washer. Dryer. No. Dryer. The sign dry plus the motion of the dryer. Dryer. Fan. Fans. Very good. Window. He uses the letter W. Window. Showing the up and down motion of the window, window. opening window. and closing. Door. 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 Garage. You see the car going into the garage? Garage. All right. Yay. Good job, you guys. Okay. Let, me, let me take that picture. Okay, is we don't have Deb here yet. Let me check with, what's going on with her. Give me a second. Right, she should be coming. Deborah is here. Deborah is here. Deborah is oh, in the room. Hi. <laughs> I'm blind. Okay, I she sent me her list. She'll be teaching music related signs, and those are music, song, rhythm, guitar, piano, xylophone, drums, violin, harp, trombone, clarinet maracas i don't know the time for that and flute so go ahead you can begin now hello everyone surprise surprise she says okay we'll do the music or song 
music song. Rhythm. Rhythm. The tar. He played the tar. I just thought the still was playing the guitar earlier. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's got the guitar. Perfect picture. Piano. Um, Piano. Back the phone. Back the phone. Oh, it's love it. She, made, she said xylophone. She means xylophone. Mm -hmm. Drum. Drum. Violin. 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 Uh, harp. 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 Clarinet. Clarinet. I have many friends play clarinet. Clarinet. Maraca. 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 And flute. I could spell it of 17, that's very good. Thank you. Surprise, everybody. Surprise. <laughs>
Very nice, John. Well, all right. So we're not live streaming now, uh, but we would like to bring on uh, to the panel some uh, some more folks, uh, some who are with us all the time, some who are not. Uh, Lynn's going to uh, enable uh, the button at the top once she... Uh, I tell them what community time is. Right. Community time is where we bring on the people from the attendees to join us and to be on the panel and to offer comments or questions or uh, pose a question to us. We'd like to hear it. And we'd like to read a couple comments from the <laughs> crowd um, regarding John's singing. We have Cynthia Deering. She says, woohoo, John, thank you. Angela Laland says, what a beautiful song, John. We have Clover Kelly saying, a lovely song. Pat Green says, thank you, John, for the Close to You song. Great job. And uh, Roberto Rioja says, love the song. Thanks, John. Carmela Schwartz says, wow, great song. I love it. Thanks, John. And thank you to, I believe it's Chris who posted the lyrics to the song. We Tarzan posted the lyrics. All right. Yeah, so it's very nice. All right, so now. And uh, Melanie Marcano says, bellissimo, bellissimo, John B., Charlie Ellis, who we, who we call Bo, says, good job, John. All right. And now we're going to enable the uh, speaker request button since it seems to be uh, working fine. Uh-oh. We just lost everybody. Up, oh, and everybody's back now. Okay. So all you have to do is at the bottom of the page there, uh, you will see the speaker icon now that it's been enabled. All you have to do is click on that, uh, except for you folks who are already on the panel, and then uh, Lynn will bring you to the panel. So let's give it a go. If anybody out there in attendee land, there's one now. Alrighty. And who might that be? Ah, Pat Green. Come on down there, Dorothy. Here comes Dorothy. Is she going to bring the rest of the Wizards group with her? I don't know. We'll see in a minute. All right, all right, all right. Who else coming to the panel? Come on down. Come on now. We got 72 here now. That's good stuff. Good stuff tonight for a Wednesday. I remember the topic. Don't be nice to me. Oh, that's tomorrow night. Yeah, you can remember. Oh, well, of course not. I can't remember from here to there. Just all right, tomorrow just night's remember. topic, just in case anyone's wondering, is healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle lifestyle so we're going to talk food going to talk a little bit of exercise and we should have a little bit of fun with that tomorrow night all right and strong like bull gorilla armin hogue coming to the panel hello armin aseta coming to the panel hello aseta. Hi, aseta Sanfo. nice to have you on the panel glad you're here aseta oh wonderful Ooh. she's such a good she's volunteer wonderful. strong uh volunteer for our our show, we appreciate what she does on social media for us. True. Rare doggies. And we got uh, Dawn. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn won't you come to play with me? All right. All right. They're coming that in. should be Dawn Swihart along with uh, D.L. McConaughey. Mm -hmm. Coming on board. All right. Panel's looking good. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven so far. Come on down if you want to come to the panel. We'd love to have you. It'll be a quick panel because we do want to go to the lunch at 11 p.m. Eastern Time for the Francis Tay's uh, Q&A. So we don't want to miss that. We want, would like, actually, if some of you here would like to just move on over there, that would be great. And we have Anuj Kumar coming in as well as Charlie Ellis. Here's Bo. All right, Bo. Bo knows. Hello, Charlie. Glad you're here as well. There he is. Yeah, we're going to cut this off a little bit early tonight, but we do want to see some hands raised. Uh, and uh, we want Sifu Francis to be able to get a little bit of a nap if he can. Just a short nap. Nothing, nothing to write home about. All right, 
Uh, let's see. We have one more person coming to the panel right now. Let's see who that might be. It is Sharon Whedon. Whedon from Whedon My Garden. All right, Sharon, come on down from Canada. Hello, hello. All right, we're up to 12, 13 now. Ooh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. All right. Who Good are- evening, everybody. Good evening, Robin Live. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody's good and getting better. Good and getting better. I'm sorry. I didn't mention OP360 is at uh, 1400 hours, 2 p.m. OP360, we don't know. Ash has been invited and he has been given the link. So we'll see if he shows up tomorrow. We're just not sure. We have one more coming to the panel. Yeah, buddy. (laughs) Kaya. Ah, Rachel Violet is coming to the panel. Come Rachel. on, come on, come on, Rachel. Rachel, 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 yeah. Rachel. All right, we're looking good here tonight. Ooh, doggies. Yeah. All right, so tomorrow night's going to be healthy lifestyle, so we hope you can join us tomorrow night. In the meantime, are there any hands to be raised? Si vous play. And we have 70. We stayed strong at 70 here plus 40 on the YouTube. Rachel's waving everybody. Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Oh, there she is. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. She says, love ya. She says, hello, everybody. All right. This is her French sign language for I love you. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, let's get this shindig kicked off. Uh, who would like to be uh, numero uno? Anybody out there? Let's see a show of hands or maybe a show of one hand or maybe no hands. <laughs> a show of something. Anybody? I don't know. I uh, Excuse me. I don't know what the panel is, uh, what the question was tonight or what we're discussing, but I'm glad to be here. I've been very, very all busy. Right. And I haven't been here in a while, but like it's nice to see you all. And I just wanted to say hello from Toronto, Canada. All right. Tonight's topic is a roundtable Q&A where we had a panel of eight, panel of seven that gave questions out to the attendees, kind of a reverse order. And uh, we've got some good answers, good questions. So uh, there you have it. I think it. you had a suggested question. Let me help. Can you please tell me the question again? Well, what we asked the panel to do initially was to tell us what three, uh, name up to three of Ashisms, you know, the Ash Mafara, uh, you know, sayings that he has. Yeah. That's how we got things started. They couldn't get their favorite quotes. So what you could do is talk about what Ash Mafara says, his quotes from Ash Mafara, your favorites. You can talk about that. Well, my favorite is always good news with Astro Far. That is my favorite. That's a good one. Yeah. Always good news. Anybody else? Let's see. I, I thought I saw Mel's hand. Did I see your hand, Mel? Go ahead. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yeah, um, on August 26, 2023, Ash Ash said, winners never win, and win and wine, sorry, winners never win, and winners never whine, like whining. So, winners never win, winners, did I write, say it right? Winners never win, winners never whine, W-H-Y-N-E. Never heard that one? I got it now. I wrote it down on August 26, 2023. <laughs> We're All having right. a nice life. That's a good one, yeah. That is a good one. That's a good one. I, Pat, were you first and then Charlie or verse vice, vice, vice versa? Um, Charlie can go that? first if you like. Charlie, go <laughs> ahead. Uh, the lady that yields to the gentleman from oh, uh, Mississippi. Thank you, Pat. Um, there's a saying that um, I kind of like that Ash, he starts off with, he say, um, hi, I'm Ash Mufara. And I'm, and I'm your friend. 
<laughs> That's, the that. That's the original. That's the original. All right. Anything else, Charlie, before we go on to uh, Pat? No, that's it. Other, other than hello, everyone. Glad to see you. Happy to see you, brother. Happy to see you. All right, let's go to let's go to Patricia Green in Kansas, somewhere in Kansas, Dorothy. Where are you? I don't know. I want to. Okay. I'm I'm alive and kicking in Kansas. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Um, uh, one of my favorite sayings is "Dream big." And then he said, you're not dreaming big enough. You need to dream bigger. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, you, when you think of dreaming big, you're thinking of certain specific things. And he's saying, no, 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 you're not dreaming big enough. Dream bigger. So that's exciting. And, um, and Ash, when he says, I'm your friend, how many CEOs of companies say that to you? None. Yeah, none. None. And that's exciting too. And you know, there's several things I'd like to listen to Ash and, and listen to what he says. And I really enjoy listening to him because he's unique and he means what he says. So and, that's- uh, All right. Good stuff. And uh, Francis Tay evidently thinks he's our friend too. He's got a bumper <laughs> sticker or a placard that says, uh, I am your friend. Was, did you get that from India? You just had that? That's a good one. No, oh, I, I have it in my in my first anniversary, uh, OES anniversary last year. I am your friend. I am Francis Tay, and I am your friend. And with the hashtag, right? In yeah, front. The hashtag. <laughs> hashtag, of course. Of yeah, the course. Hashtag. Let's go back to Mel. Mel, go ahead, and then we'll go back to uh, Bo. Oh my God, I had my mic open all the time. Sorry. Bad etiquette. Yeah, I know you did. That's all right. Okay. I'm not um, going to mute you. I know better. <laughs> there is one where he said, um, it's, it's like kissing marshmallows. Is that, am I saying it right? It's like kissing marshmallows. He used to say it a lot That's in the beginning. He said that William DeLorme. Uh, who's been a founder, I think, since 2018 or 19, came up with uh, it's like kissing marshmallows, and Ash adapted that and used um, it all the time. It's as easy as kissing, kissing marshmallows. Okay. Another one he says is, I told you I would do it, and I did. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That's a good one. Yeah. Anybody else? Anything else, Mel, before we go back to Charlie? <laughs> I wrote down a whole bit. You got more? Bring it. I think I do. Come on, Mel. <laughs> Dig out in that, you know, treasure chest of yours. I did mention before in the beginning, failure is not an option. That's a good one. I love that one. True. And he also used to tell us, it's over delivered. Ash was always saying that over delivered. Over you know, when you bring out a new product, yeah. We over deliver, yes, we do. Yeah. And then he said, leaders and successful people are initiators. That's another one of his. Mm. That's all I got. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Mel Marcano. Let's go back to Charlie. Okay. And then we're going up to uh, uh, Dawn and DL next. Well, actually, um, um, Rob, I think my hand never came down, but but I would like to say that um, I know John John stated that his his he was his throat was kind of scratchy tonight, but um, I just I just want to say to the panel, don't let John pull your leg. He he does a great job each and every night. Yes, indeed. Thank you both. Appreciate that. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, let's go uh, to DL and uh, Dawn, or Dawn, Dawn and DL. Let's go uh, out to Ohio. Thanks, Robin Lynn, and hello, everybody on the panel. Uh, going back a ways, I just remember I, when I first got in a long time ago, he talked about value in particular. 
uh, he was really heavy on value, uh, providing value to uh, to uh, the founders and and customers for that matter. It was uh, it was a real big thing. But the two that stand out to me is uh, it's a done deal and uh, in it to win it. Those are the two that really stick out uh, to me. So uh, it's a done deal. I think that's uh, oh wait a minute the other one uh, was uh, do it or die. Yeah. He seems to uh, say that quite a bit, so I really appreciate it. All right. Does uh, the little lady behind you to uh, stage right have something for us? You got anything? All right. Really. All right. You're going to yield to the guy on your left or your right. Okay. So. Yeah, I pretty much said it uh, all, Rob. Uh, she, she'll come up with something here in a bit. All right. No problem at all. Let's, um, <laughs> if we may... I believe Pedro has joined us, one of our panelists. Hello, Pedro. How you doing, brother? Doing Go great. Ahead. Thank you. Uh, having the most trouble ever I had trying to log in with the um, speaker link. I, uh, it was sent to uh, to another account, and I was trying to email myself, and then I had to sign in and change browsers and all that. Make it short. I'm, I'm happy to, to be here. And uh, I, of course, I had questions, but I, I was not uh, able to ask them. So we want to leave them for next next time. Yeah, we'll uh, do that. But in the meantime, tell us uh, some of the ashisms or the ash phrases that you like, your slogans or saying. Uh, yeah, we are the correction to the corruption. That's, Whoa, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely something that I appreciated much and attracted me a lot uh, from the beginning when he said that because I know there is corruption in at every level, and but I didn't know how corruption uh, was embedded in in uh, in trying to do business online. I just didn't understand how you know. It, but uh, little by little, I've been discovering that uh, they take your information, they sell it, uh, all these kinds of things. When he started to explain, we are going to eliminate that. Uh, and so it started to make sense. And, uh, and so I am for that a lot. Uh, it's very attractive to me. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the things. It's always something good that that he has in mind when he says something. So uh, we need to pay attention and digest it. But that, that's one that just stuck to mind. All Thank right. you. Thank you, Pedro. Thanks for uh, sticking with it to get on here. We appreciate you very much, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, one that he's starting to use, which I like since it's something that I came up with 50 years ago, is uh, today's news today. He's reminding everybody that... Uh, you know, when you come down passive, you get today's news today. You get updates and more. So that's good stuff. And uh, I believe it's not an ashism, but he started saying what Lynn says when he says, not too shabby. He says that all the time now. So that's, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll throw that one over to Ash and put that in the Ash column. Is that all right? Or do you want to keep it? Ms. Nakamoto. Uh, no, he can have it. All right. So not too shabby is an ashism as well. Oh, let's go back to Mel. Go ahead, Mel. I write these things on this black paper with white ink, a white pencil, to remind myself. So one of the things he said was, how you do anything is how you do everything. Oh, Nelly, that's a good one. <laughs> It's written right there. All right. The how back. you do anything is how you do everything. Everything. Good stuff, Mel. I like that. I like that. Anything else? No. <laughs> That's it? All Somebody right. else. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else uh, before we kick off and uh, go night-night. I'll take a peek in the chat. And we have Rabindra Kumar 
who says failure is not an option. That's one of the quotes. Whoa. And uh, he also says the best is yet to come. Whoa, another one. Carmela says, I am your friend. We are a family friendship. friendship. Yeah. And Rabindra says, hashtag I am your friend. And Armin says, I am your friend too, Francis Tay. Whoa, hashtag I am your friend. And um, we have Laurel Reeves Henderson and saying, play now, pay later, pay now, and play later. Yes, it's true. Ooh. And Rudra says, Rudra Prasad Bose says, I am your friend and I, I am born to change your life. Good stuff there. And Rudra says, winners never quit and quitters never win. Um, I think that's it for quotes. Well, all righty. Let's, I think we have another hand raised. If we could get rid of the chat for one moment. Let's go to Pat. Pat. And then I guess back to Mel. I think, he, I think he also came up with a saying, in it to win it. Did he come up with that? I'm thinking he did. Yeah, that's an ashism. I think he did. Um, there's a couple things that really stood out to me about Ash, besides him being our friend, is when they first started the webinars, um, it, you know, when he would be on a webinar, uh, unless you were there, you couldn't, you, you wouldn't know what was happening with it because some of us work during the day or whatever, and you can't always be at the webinars. And they took care of that real quick, where, you know, they had some people that actually went in and, and copied the webinars, you know, and, and put in notes in the back office, which is really nice. Plus, he's reached out to us more often. Not that we have to have Ash with us every day, but it's exciting that a CEO uh, cares about people in his company enough that he reaches out to us personally and talks to us about what's going on. And he said he, this year his goal is to make sure that he does that more often. And he is doing that. And that's exciting too. All right. Wait a minute. I think I just saw Chris come to the room. Is Did he bring his piano with him? No, he brought me a cookie. <laughs> Let him do. All right. Good stuff. Let's go back to the, uh, uh, gallery view so I can take a peek at uh, some other hands. Aceta. Aceta, if you put yourself higher up. Yeah, I like that. Whoa, Aceta's in the house. Okay, All let's right. Take, let's take a screenshot while Aceta's face is showing. <laughs> okay, ready? Keep your face in the in the camera, All right, Aceta. Here we go. Don't be shy. Okay, ready, you guys? Ready for picture? One, two, three. Now. Okay. Oh, very nice. All right, all right, everybody. Thank you. Uh, and it looks like, okay, we've got a couple of hands. Let's go to uh, Sharon Whedon. Go ahead, Whedon My Garden. Sharon Whedon, Whedon My Garden, always Whedon My Garden. Anyways, one of my favorite sayings, and I post this on my Instagram page, is that Ash said uh, a few years ago, the company is not greedy when it comes to profit. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Ash. All right. Thank you. That's a good one. Thank you. All right. Where are we going next? Where are we going next? We got just a couple of minutes. Where are we going next? Um, now, now. Go ahead, now. And my hand still raised? Why is my hand still raised? I'm sorry. It is. It is. That's okay. I took it away. It's fine. Well, now you know I do pay attention. It got sticky. It's stuck up there. <laughs> sorry. All right. Uh, all right. And uh, Sharon, did you have something else or is your hand stuck too? Uh, my hand is stuck, but I did have a couple more, but I just can't find them because I, I have saved all of his uh, sayings and stuff, but I just can't find them all. That was the only one I could find right now. But uh, uh, thank you. That's good. No that's problem. a good one, though. Yeah, no yeah, problemo. Yeah, yeah. And we want to, uh, as, just before we end, we want to make sure that you all know that in about 50 minutes, less than an hour, is the OES question and answer session. It's every Wednesday at 11 p.m. Eastern time. And that's run by Francis Tay. 
and that's going to be the link i already i just posted in the back office but it is here for you in the pusher link on the upper left hand corner of the webinar it's right there if you click on it now it'll open in a new tab you will not leave this webinar so it's safe for you to click it now also in the chat chris tizan has posted the link there as well we would welcome all of you to join us this is where you can ask questions of the panel all right it's a very, it's a small group, but it's a really nice, intimate, comfortable group to be in. So we do invite you to come and join us. And you can get anything that you want at Ashmafara's restaurant. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> All right, we had to get that in. Definitely. And then uh, let's see, announcement wise, tomorrow at 10 is. Uh, uh, on Thursday, tomorrow, 10 will be live with Marty and Chris, uh, followed by Red. Red did say he will be on at 11 briefly to do a warm up. And then at 2 p.m., 1400 hours straight up, uh, or probably a couple minutes to the eastern side of 2 o'clock, will be OP360. And then as the day goes on, check your listings in the back office if you're interested in anyone else's webinar. And there's uh, Carmela's Cutie Pie Dog. Oh, so sweet. And also tomorrow night at 8 p.m., join us and we will have our topic tomorrow night. Healthy lifestyles. Healthy lifestyles. And you guys all look good. So I know I'd you say you're following healthy lifestyles. Everybody has ideas on how to be healthy or, you know, so it'd be nice to share that information. All right. So I'm going to say, if it's okay with everybody here, good night, Gracie. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I saw a hand. Carmela, go ahead, Carmela, before I say goodnight to Gracie. I wanted to add that Ashmu Farah, when he came first time to the All Connect, he said, this is the ugliest that you see. Do you remember that? Yes. And every yeah. time you come in, it's the better and better. Yay. He did and say that. And it is true. Every time we come in, we see it as it's better and better. That's and true. Thank you, everyone. And I wanted to say that the dogs wake up and they say hello. <laughs> all right, all right. They say woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Where's Ollie? Woof. Yeah. All right. And uh, what did you want me to mention? That the screenshots, I just took a whole bunch of screenshots today. Give me time. I like to crop them, but then I will put them into our Roblin live messenger group. If you're not in the group, you might want to join it so to enjoy all the screenshots okay and CISO saying i love you so is rachel lots of love from our deaf leaders our deaf teachers thank you thank you thank you for the thank lot you. of love all right aseta saying i love you we love you right back aseta. love you aseta <laughs> all right everybody thanks for okay, coming let's, tonight let's do an i love you picture oh we're gonna do an i love you picture Everybody's i knew we were saying we're gonna sign i love you all right so let me Change this view here. Okay, so ready? We're gonna all say, we're gonna say, I love you. All right? One, two, three. Now, everybody say, I love you. I love Smile. you. All right. I didn't say it. Oh, nice. Nice. Nowhere but Roblin Live do you get this kind of camaraderie. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> That is too funny. Right. <laughs> oh, thanks, everybody, for uh, oh, hopping on. Oh, wait a minute. There's Sadul. Hello, sir. Glad you're so here. much love on Robin Live. Hello. 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 Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Audio. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Rob, Lynn, and everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, Good night, everybody. 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 Good night, all first responders. I'm sure the link is in the hi, chat, hi. but I will Shake check it. Out. Yeah, it's also in the back office, Sharon. In the back office as well. I okay, good. It, I'll put it in the um, chat. The Robin. Is in the, 
And it's in the WhatsApp, right? Yeah, WhatsApp. All the WhatsApp groups have them. Okay. Well, I'll be there. See you soon then. Good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wherever you are. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We'll see you tonight at 11 and also tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. Good night, night. night Mel. Good night, Mel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>